brought on John LaPointe with LaPointe Insurance, and we've asked him to speak about historic homes and how these homes are insured. You know, historic homes, something that we run into a lot here in New England. I mean, there's a lot of history here. There's a lot of older, older homes. And you're right. I think Rhode Island might have one of the oldest housing stocks in the country. Um, you know, we were just talking before we even came on air. We were talking about what a, what a need there is for new construction in Rhode Island, which would hopefully yes. bring up that median age. But as it stands right now, a lot of the homes are significantly older. And what that means is they can be a little tricky to insure. The main point with older homes being that, you know, not every insurance company wants to touch them. Not every insurance company is looking to insure homes that were built prior to 100 years ago, right? Earlier than 1900 is usually the cutoff with a lot of companies. And so it can limit your options. There's nothing wrong with buying an older home. Older homes, in a lot of ways, are, in my opinion, built better. They were built to last back then. That being said, some companies don't want to insure them because there are some aspects of older homes that just become outdated and obsolete. And if they're not updated significantly, that can make it a little bit more risky. Generally speaking, if you're looking to buy a home, it's over 100 years old. Consider the budget for your insurance before you get too far along in the process. This is the kind of thing we talk about all the time, Emilio. Like It's never too early to start thinking about the insurance implications when you're looking to buy a home and especially true when you're looking at an older home. Um, those homes, you know, pre-1900s, they're far from impossible to insure. And generally speaking, they're not going to be that much more expensive to insure. You just might have some limited options and you might need to work on spending a little bit more time engaging with a few different insurance companies or agents and trying to see what's going to be the best fit for you. Um, if you wait until the last minute, that's when you're going to find yourself in a stressful situation. Historic homes, though, that's a different story. There are definitely some um, serious considerations when you're buying a home that is truly historic, like it's in a historic preservation society or something like that. You know, In Providence alone, there are nearly 45 historic districts, including the wow. iconic College Hill, right? So homeowners in these areas face unique challenges due to the historical significance of their properties. There are preservation societies that these homes belong to. And if you ever had an insurance claim, because your home is part of this preservation society, you can't just rebuild your home willy nilly, however you want to, right? You can't just make repairs to your home, just however you see fit. There's a lot of historic aspects to that home that want to be preserved. And so the materials that are going to be used, the architectural elements. So you mm -hmm. have to rebuild the home in a certain way. And what that means is it's like way more expensive when the insurance company has to settle that claim. So there are definitely a limited number of insurance companies that are willing to insure those homes. And also they are going to be very particular about making sure you have the right coverage amounts on your home because you know, there's a difference between restoration and replacement. With a standard home insurance policy, if the home is destroyed or damaged, the insurance company will pay the cost to replace it, the home with like kind and quality, right? But with a historic home, owners want to restore the home to its original state, especially if there are some like covenants in place where if you had to rebuild the home or make repairs to it, you have to adhere to those. That's part of that you know, preservation society, make sure you're getting a policy that actually would do that for you, you know, because otherwise you could be stuck in a real sticky situation where the insurance company is saying, we're, we're not going to pay for that, but then you got to come out of pocket to try and figure out the rest. Mm -hmm.